Welcome to the VZ Power review of LEGO set 70811, The Flying Flusher. This set is one of the four um, two-in-one sets that were released with the, uh, the LEGO movie um, first line. So uh, let's take a look at uh, this, this set and uh, see how it stacks up compared to the others. First off, there's the box. Uh, it's the same size and shape as the rest of them. Uh, very shiny, as was pointed out by Jason in an earlier review. Uh, we can see the uh, the flying flusher, I can assume, uh, coming towards uh, one of uh, uh, Lord Business's micromanagers and uh, a scrub-clad doctor running away. In the corner here, we can see the alternate model, or the primary model, whichever way you want to look at it. There's the figures on the top. Uh, the back of the box uh, gives a better view of the the two models, um, emphasizing, of course, the two-in-one quality. Um, the bottom of the box, we can see uh, some features of the set, including uh, the, the truck opens in back, the roof is removable, again, the figures, flick fire missiles, wouldn't do without those, uh, and then there's an advertisement for the upcoming Lego Movie game. All right. Uh, that about sums up the packaging. Obviously, we care more about what's inside, so let's uh, let's break it open. Uh, as I said in a, my review of uh, Castle Cavalry, which was the first uh, two-in-one set I looked at, uh, I'm really a fan of the, the two-in-one concept as a um, as as a new uh, new form of set. It's really um, something very different that uh, harkens back to Lego's. Uh, more, you know, creative, um, I wouldn't say more creative, but, um, back in the days when, when Lego was, uh, less representational, I guess, uh, obviously, uh, the, the models, the, the more creative models in these sets, um, really are, uh, not meant to look specifically like anything, unlike, say, uh, Lego Star Wars sets, which obviously have a very, uh, clear basis. So, we're opening up the contents of the, uh, the bags here, they're not numbered, uh, which I like. Uh, there's a sizable, sizable amount of pieces. Uh, we also, we also get, uh, the same, same with Castle Cavalry. We, we've gotten, uh, three instruction manuals. Uh, one for the, the, the truck model. This one is for figures and the micromanager, uh, as I learned last review. And then this is the instruction manual for the, uh, the flying flusher. We also get, uh, a sticker sheet. So I've uh, I've combed through the uh, the pile of pieces here, and I'd uh, like to bring out a couple uh, that caught my eye while I was doing so. Uh, these two pieces may look fairly, you know, normal to you. This is a a wing. Uh, this is one of the. It's a jumper tile. But um, if we look at the backs of them, we can see actually this is a this is a new uh, a new mold that's uh, designed to fit over. Um, plates now the the older piece had some uh that this line was um was unbroken so the uh it it wasn't compatible with everything and the back of this we can see there's there's a new uh the 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 the, the uh the inside is different so those are those are new molds i'm not sure how long they've been around but they caught my eye um we have some delightful uh, snot pieces, which of course aren't new, but they're always valuable, and there seem to be plenty on a initial inspection. Uh, this door, I don't think I've seen before. It may exist in city sets. I'm not a, a city collector, but um, the, the, the stud handle, I think, is, is, uh, is new. Um, normally, I see the, uh, the castle uh, bar doors, so this, uh, this is new to me. It may not be new. Uh, of course, we have uh, we have some nice uh, new minifigure parts or newish minifigure parts. There's the revised baseball cap over here, um, which is uh, slightly more bent than the original. Uh, there's also this uh, neat combed hair, which I think has uh, made an appearance on some collectible minifigures in the past. So those pieces are there. Uh, we have a couple of uh, one by one tiles round in silver which are always welcome also I think new as of this year or in recent years this uh, this I think we originally saw with the uh, Marvel superheroes or uh, hero factory um, it's one of the uh, uh, I remember seeing it on the uh, the Iron Man figure I'm not sure if it's appeared in light gray before if it has great if it hasn't also great this is a nice piece 
Um, we have this, uh, this three-way uh, connector, uh, it's sort of like the inverse of the, uh, the other Technic three-way connector, which has um, axles coming out at the, uh, the ends uh, and, a, and an axle hole in the middle. This piece I don't have any of, so I'm happy to see one. Uh, of course, there's uh, the, the uh, newish clips. Um, I like these a lot. They uh, add a lot of stability to your creation. Uh, and then there's the uh, one by two uh, slope, which is uh, sort of like the smaller version of uh, several slopes we've seen in the past. It's uh, extremely versatile, very pretty. Uh, I can see a thousand uses for this, and here it is. All right, so that's the uh, that's the pieces of interest that jumped out at me. Uh, so we are going to start building this uh, this set with the instruction manual for the figures and the micromanager. So let's get to it. Well, that's done. Okay, so we have just built the uh, the micromanager, which uh, in this uh, particular iteration has some some little arms in front, and uh, they they they're nice and flexible. Uh, it also has uh, some some flick fire missiles. Lego couldn't do without their flick fire missiles. Um, and then in back here we have uh, we have some legs actually that um, that fold out from the bottom. Uh, like so, so the little micromanager can, uh, you know, walk around, uh, and uh, I'm, it, it's nice to see that, uh, as a matter of fact, the micromanager does uh, balance on its uh, on its legs. That's that's always good. So uh, we can take a moment to uh, to look at the three figures we have here. We have, uh, according to the box, uh, this is Plumber Joe. Uh, Plumber Joe has a Got a the hat on that we saw earlier. Uh, some nice back printing. Uh, a little uh, plumber logo on the front of his overalls, and uh, you can't really see too well here, but the jeans are printed. He's got some pockets. Uh, this is uh, Alfie, the apprentice, apprentice plumber. Um, he's got the same body, same pants as uh, as Plumber Joe. Uh, this this is Doctor McScrubs, and he is. As you can see, wearing scrubs. Uh, it's a, I don't know if this is a new print. It looks like it is. Um, he's got a stethoscope and an ID. He's got the neat hair. You wouldn't trust a doctor with messy hair. Um, some nice back printing. And then uh, in back here, he's got a, a nice, a fun uh, panicked expression. Gotta love a figure with a panicked expression. All right, so uh, we'll uh, we'll put these uh, these fine fellows uh, and their uh, nemesis over in the corner there because we are about to build this model. Let's get to it. So that's it for the uh, Joe's Plumber van. Here's the van. Uh, it's a it's a nice it's a nice van. Uh, we also built this uh, this portable restroom actually. So let's take a look at this first. Um, here we have the uh, the new or supposedly new door with a silver handle in there. Uh, it's a nice uh, some nice snot sides. Um, the uh, door opens and you can see inside there is a well designed toilet, um, a toilet paper. Uh, a little uh, uh, flushing button, and the uh, there's some water just uh, spouting out. The water is loose in there. You can see it moves around. I uh, guess this is a problem toilet. Uh, job for Joe's plumbing. So um, the plumber van is a nice, solid little van. Uh, it's uh, got tools on the sides, on both sides actually. Uh, there's some there's some pipes on top and a ladder. I don't know why they need a ladder for getting to that toilet, but it's a nice touch. Um, inside, uh, there's a, I don't know, maybe that's a hose attachment point, uh, a suction thing. And then back here, we've got, uh, well, you can't see too well, but those are um, those are plungers. 
I forgot to mention um, in my uh, uh, piece overview. This is the, uh, the this is a plunger piece. It's a new mold for this year. I think it also appears in the uh, the Parisian restaurant direct to consumer set. It's sort of like an inverse um, two by two cone. Uh, you can fit on top of it, uh, say this piece, uh, like so. And there's an attachment point for uh, for a stud beneath it. So this is a really nice piece which uh, forms the tops of the plungers and uh, the roof is easily removable uh, see there's there's one of the plungers in there you can uh, arm plumber Bob with uh, his, his tool of choice uh, easily put that back in there the, the roof comes on nicely uh, very solid there's um, only a few stickers the license plate the hood and then the side uh, logo so, uh, this, uh, this was the, the plumber van, uh, the more traditional model of, uh, of the bunch. Now I think it's time to take a look at the, set, uh, the set's uh, titular creation, the Flying Flusher. So I'm going to take this apart and then we'll start building. Well, the plumber van has been disassembled, so now it's time to build the second model. The Flying Flusher is completed. It's a, a biplane type model or a, a old timey plane. It's got a propeller in front and some uh, some water guns on the wings and the up here we've got a launcher for uh, plungers with a flick fire function that's really cool there's some extra shots on the sides uh, the, the top can lift off uh, to uh, seat somebody down at the, uh, the controls in there uh, there's another seat up top uh, with the, the toilet seat as the um, as the, the the scope for the the, the plunger launcher uh, we'll put Plumber Joe up there. Uh, it's uh, it's a very uh, surprisingly. Um, oh, and in here we've got some just piping. I guess it's it's actually a very um, a very uh, surprisingly attractive model. Um, the first the first um, of the two in one sets that I did was uh, Castle Cavalry, which made this pod racer type thing. I wasn't really entirely sure how it was supposed to fly of course uh, it's a little bit of a weird model this on the other hand everything serves a very definite function you've got your, you've got your landing gear your propeller wings uh, the, the, the tail uh, fin the the scope the gun ev everything feels right and it's a uh, it's a recognizable shape so um, it, it comes together really nicely actually uh, I think uh, in, in terms of uh, being a two-in-one model, this uh, this definitely uh, exceeds my expectations. Actually, it's it's really pretty. Uh, the color scheme, of course, is the same. It's very nice. Uh, there's some fun. Uh, it really it's it's sturdy. It's swooshable. This is this is a really nice plane. I like it a lot, actually. Um, the uh, the stickered parts, uh, some uh, up there and. Uh, here, th those are out of the way. They're unobtrusive. The 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 main sign actually happens to be behind the cabin. Uh, all right. Well, that is uh, about all I have to say about this set. This was the Flying Flusher. I hope you enjoyed my review and stay posted for the next uh, review that I do. Mm -hmm.